Hello makers! Welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about this awesome creation right here. Stick around. Welcome back makers! So today is the first episode of my awesome creation series and today I'm going to be reviewing this awesome sundial. Now for those of you who might not know what a sundial is, it's basically something like this which stands in the sun and according to the position of the sun it casts a shadow and once again according to the position of that shadow you can actually tell where the time is. Now this particular print over here goes way beyond just putting down a shadow. Uh, a few weeks ago my sister contacted me and um, she sent me a link over WhatsApp about this video that was doing the rounds on Facebook. And it was about this sundial and it absolutely blew my mind away. Um, and what made it even better was the fact that the, uh, the files to print this thing are freely available on Thingiverse and I will link um, the, uh, the file itself to the description of the video. So what this thing does is it has quite a bit of slots in it. Um, and according to the way the shadow, well, the sun hits this, um, it casts a shadow showing the actual time um, in digital format. It has increments of 20 minutes. So you can see that it is 11 o'clock, 11.20, 11.40, 12 o'clock, 12.20, 12.40. Well, you get it. And as soon as I saw it, I just, I really had to print it. Um, so I did, and I have a time lapse to prove it. Now this took almost 24 hours to print. It comes in four pieces. You have this part over here, you have the base, you have another piece that connects to the base, and you have the sundial itself. Um, the uh, description in the file says to print it at 0 0.10 millimeter layers for the sake of accuracy. Um, I actually printed it at 0 0.20 millimeters on uh, the Prusa, and it worked out fairly well for me. Uh, the only reason why I did that is because I trust the accuracy of uh, the Prusa Mark II um, and it, it didn't let me down. What did let me down though is my choice of filament. Um, obviously as Angus recently showed, um, PLA and Sun don't mix very well. Um, it is winter over here right now and the sun is fairly scarce. Uh, the, the sunny days are few and far between at the moment, which is very rare for this country. And it was fairly cold, so I didn't think it would matter that much. So what happened was I put this thing together with nuts and bolts. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the right nuts and bolts, so I kind of uh, MacGyvered it all the way. Um, I did have a jar that this sticks onto. So what you have to do is you find a jar which has that exact uh, diameter. You fill it up with as much heavy things as possible, close it, uh, pull this onto this, and you have the sundial. So you twist the jar in the position you want. Uh, you can lift it up and down and then rotate the sundial itself to find the exact position according to the, to the sun. Um, my fails, my first failure was I didn't fill the, the jar with enough heavy stuff and that resulted in um, a smashed jar and um, a partly broken sundial. So I tried it again. I removed this part here and I decided to use um, double-sided tape to stick it on the table plus some cable ties and I put my GoPro up. So Initially, the first time I tried it, what happened was the nuts and bolts that I used were a little bit too small and this thing started, as you can see, started, yeah, you can see, 
um, it started warping a little bit um, because of the heat. Um, so I gave up on that day. I actually printed this about a month ago, um, but I was waiting for the right day to use it. Um, I changed the few bolts that I had on it. Um, I waited for the next sunny day to come and I tried it again, this time with much more success. Unfortunately, I didn't have a very long exposure time for the sundial uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, I wasn't trusting this sundial alone uh, with my GoPro outside just in case it rained. Secondly, this is not meant to be um, casting a shadow against a wall. It should be casting a shadow against a flat horizontal surface. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't have the space at the time, so I decided to do on the wall um, and it worked fine. It worked for, for the little time that I tried it on. What I have to do next is reprint this, uh, possibly in ABS or maybe PETG, but something that has is not translucent because just in case it might mess up with the numbers. But I think this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, it, it is single-handedly the most amazing thing I've found on Thingiverse so far. The guy who created this is French and what I can only assume is an absolute genius. Um, I will link um, the video uh, where he explains how he did this. He makes it sound so bloody easy <laughs> and it, it doesn't look like it's easy. It's a huge mathematical equation, which he seems to get a grasp of very easily. Um, but it's absolutely insane. And the fact that I could print this, uh, I think this was my fourth or fifth print on the Prusa. Um, I was really stoked about this um, and I, I couldn't wait to print it, try it out and show it to you guys. Well, that is it for our first episode of Awesome Creations. I think it started off with an absolute bang. I think this thing is absolutely insane. I urge you to print one, not in PLA. <laughs> If you do print it, please let me know. Find me on Twitter, put a photo up or a video up, tag me, and also tag the creator, Mojoptix. I will link his Twitter account in the description below. I think he did an absolutely fabulous job with this. And if you do print it, trust me, your friends will be amazed with it. In the meantime, if you find anything interesting online, which you think deserves recognition, please let me know. I'd be happy to go through it, print it, and feature it on this uh, weekly series that I'm doing. That is all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, leave a comment. I will reply. In the meantime, have fun and happy making, guys.